Hi guys, welcome to the channel and to the tarot reading for my friends Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Together we are going to take a look at the energies for past, present and future. Feel free to take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And let's find out what's coming through for you. So guys, past energies, we got the Ace of Cups and the Five of Pentacles, the Chariot and the Knight of Cups, the Nine of Swords and the Moon. Guys, some of you said I love you to a special person. I want to say that they kind of reciprocated those words, but the connection for some reason made you feel out in the cold, five of pentacles. Something was missing in the alchemy between you and your person of interest. I feel that some of you got anxious, nine of swords, because the development that you were expecting in favor of the connection never really came your way. The chariot was the energy that you wanted to manifest together with your person of interest. The knight of cups can be the bearer of the ace. And so I feel that some of you have been in love with your person of interest, but for some reason, their behaviors were not in alignment with your high standards and expectations in favor of this particular connection. The moon can describe the discomfort that some of you have been experiencing because of how the connection has been unfolding. The moon, though, is a tricky energy because we got the Seven of Swords and the Three of Cups in the mix. And so it is possible that for some of you, there can be interferences coming from the outside. It's like your person has been keeping some doors open in their favor and some of you got the perception that they were not serious enough in favor of the connection with you. For others of you instead, there can be commitment issues on your person's side because they can enjoy the connection with you. They can enjoy the opportunity to spend the time in your company. They can even say that they have love for you, but what is love for your person of interest? Because the concept can be different between the two of you. And there is something that has been left unsaid that must be cleared, you know? The two of you must clear the air if we think about this connection because the foundations of the connection are not strong enough. Present energies, seven of wands and the seven of swords, the three of pentacles and the nine of swords, a recurrent energy, the king of swords and the chariot, another energy already on the table. Some of you, would like to have a conversation with your person of interest. I feel that you can be the king of swords, even if you are a woman. The ability of the king of swords for me is the one to connect all the dots about a particular situation in order to figure things out and then make the best possible decision about what comes next. I feel that some of you have been experiencing seven of ones energy coming from your person of interest. Either they can avoid to talk about important issues, important topics for your connection, or maybe they can resist a development that can be beneficial for the connection to improve. Or if there are distractions around your connection, your person can try to deny that something wrong, let's say, is going on behind your back. Unfortunately, the Seven of Swords is always a tricky energy. It works like a pick your poison type of energy for me because it can undermine the foundations of a connection and trust can be compromised. That's why some of you felt uncomfortable in the connection lately. The Nine of Swords as a recurrent energy seems to be more about you than about your person because they do not seem to be bothered by the issues that some of you guys instead can see clearly. The Three of Pentacles is a big question mark. It's an energy about the opportunity to work together, to cooperate, to listen to each other for me, and then the chance to build strong foundations. The strong foundations that right now, this connection is lacking because of the Five of Pentacles. And I also want to say guys that despite the fact that some of you shared 
precious words like I love you with your person of interest, something was off and something can still be off in this connection. And the sooner you address the elephant in the room with your person of interest, the better it can be for you because then you will have basically the power to decide if you want to keep seeing your person of interest or if you want to move in a different direction because if the chariot cannot be manifested in this connection, it is your right to end it and then move in a different direction. And I say so because of the energies that we got in the future position. So Knight of Cups and the Ten of Swords, the King of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles, the Four of Swords and the Three of Cups. Guys, the Three of Cups can be tricky if we think about a connection challenged by distractions and interferences for some of you. For others, instead, it can be a fun situation, even the chance to sleep with a person of interest and kind of have some fun together, but not necessarily the opportunity to bring to the table a more reliable structure for a connection. I feel that the Ten of Pentacles, King of Pentacles combination of energies can describe what you want, what you were hoping to find in this connection with your person of interest. But if they are not on the same page, if they do not want commitment, if they are still distracted by other situations, what are you going to do? The Knight of Cups is a recurrent energy, but together with the Ten of Swords can represent the opportunity for some of you to take your love away always quoting the Cranberries song, Promises, she's going to leave him over, she's going to take her love away. Because it seems that an offer of love, a genuine offer of love from the heart, can be kind of left on the table by your person of interest because for some reason they are not able to see it properly. And because of that, they cannot honor it in the same way as you guys can be able to do. So it seems that your person, if you call them out somehow, some way, by following the King of Swords, may not be in the position to offer you the answers that you kind of expect from them. So I do not see your person of interest in the position to give you guys some valid and practical reasons to keep seeing them. And if that happens, because your mind is clear about what you want, the consequence can be that you can cut communication with your person of interest for swords, you can evaluate what's available for you and most of all, what's not available for you when it comes to this particular connection. And you can even realize that the chance for you to release this connection can allow you guys at the same time to release the Nine of Swords energy and the overall discomfort that this situation has brought in your life. So if you resonate with such a scenario, kind of influenced by commitment issues, an iffy mindset of your person of interest, or a person of interest that is kind of distracted, non-committal, you know, because there can be someone else around them that can catch their attention, this connection can face a closing point, which can be a disappointment. Guys, I cannot sugarcoat the Ten of Swords. Let's be clear about that. But it seems that this connection is about to face a crossroads. And the most encouraging thought, if you ask me, is this one. You will be in charge of what happens next for you when it comes to this connection. It is fair to say that Right now, the situation doesn't seem to be a satisfying one for you as a consequence, almost as a natural consequence. If you do not like what you see, you can take your power back and decide that you are not willing to keep investing your time, your energies, and your attention as well in a connection with someone that is not able or willing to do the same thing in favor of a positive development. Guys, this connection seems to be headed towards a closing point. And I feel that if some of you make the decision to release this questionable situation and your person of interest, 
it can be a blessing in disguise because you can free yourself in order to then pursue new situations that can be way more auspicious than this one. It almost feels like an unrequited love type of connection, even if your person of interest said to you that they were, they are in love with you, but their actions do not match their words. And this can become a deal breaker. My friends, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful somehow, some way. If you want to comment, like, and subscribe, it will help our channel to grow. So thank you. And until next time, I wish you all the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.